So this is the Central American vine snake. This is rear fangs. You can even see where her rear fangs are. It looks a little. <laughs> no, don't get me. So this one is gravid to black dragon, and that one's gravid to T positive. So it's T positive to black dragon, and this one is T positive to T positive. And then we got gravid azantic, and oh, we got. Oh, she's not out. We can show. Gravid. That's Goo Boo and the devil. That's the devil right there. But anyways, there are plenty of monitors right now cleaning them. And what are you guys doing? You guys, you look kind of, she's pretty much, she's gravid or scared. almost done yet. She's, 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 she's grabbing? Yeah, I understand. And this guy right there, he's the guy that does the editing. And he doesn't have a clue about any about reptiles. So he's thinking. It's very true. He's just thinking, I'm bad. What's, it? what's this head of a bazooka like this? And what's this incomplete dibidomidum in the minutes? And what is a beaded heliderma lizard? I'm lying. Actually, Donnie takes care of monitors, so Donnie. I'm good, at, I'm good at getting the poop out of the cages. Yeah, well, you're also good at playing. Look. I'm gonna dig this cage. Like she's already going right to it. Find me appropriate nesting. Are you cute? We gotta mark her. So this is Brianna right here. That's Brianna. Okay. Now I'm gonna use a very scientific method when we, um, you know, like there's there's pit tagging and stuff like that. Oh, I want. Oh, we're not. No, I'm not including that. We won't cut that. So, anyways, right here. This is a very scientific method. No. Come here. We're gonna go into the spider verse. The spider verse? Yeah. Hi, Rob. What do you do here? So, what's up, guys? This is Rob. I'm a sales manager here at New England Reptile. I am an arachnid lover, and I've got tarantulas, lots and lots and lots of them personally, and I've had tarantulas my whole life. Pretty cool. So, I brought a, a few different tarantulas to kind of show you guys some neat things, some things that make good pets, and then a couple that probably wouldn't make great pets for everybody. But uh, one of the great kind of classic starter tarantulas is called a pink toe tarantula. Okay. This is actually a metallic or a giant metallic pink toe tarantula, Avicularia metallica. And these animals are not super inclined to bite. They are a little quick, so if you are afraid of spiders, I usually will recommend these as not the best to start with. But if you've got a little <laughs> bit of experience, they are really great. And so the uh, pink toe tarantulas live up in the canopy of the rainforest. They can be found in South America. And you can see this one. It's quick. A little quick. But uh, not really inclined to bite. They will sometimes jump. Yeah. But you can see why they're called pink toe tarantulas. If you look at the end of those legs right there, I can barely see them. I don't just think see maybe little Pete's tiny stand tips. Still, he's like, nah, I'm not yeah. gonna stand still. What do you feed these guys? <laughs> so most tarantulas are eating insects. So we feed them uh, one to two times a week. I give them one to two crickets, um, and then once they get bigger, you can slow down their feeding. Maybe only feed them once a week or once every two weeks or so. These are a species that loves humidity. So I spray down their enclosure two to three times a week to make sure that they can drink the water droplets off the sides of the enclosure or off the leaves inside the enclosure. And then... Um, they don't live in these things, do they? Uh, when they're little, they stay in small enclosures like this. But once they get a little bit bigger, we usually set them up in an enclosure that's a little bit bigger. So most uh, oh. Avicularia, most pink toe species can do really great in this size enclosure, which is an Exoterra, um, I think it's called the Mini Tall, and or Nano Tall. And these are eight inches by eight inches by 12 inches tall. And what we do is we do a layer of substrate at the bottom. So you can use eco earth. Some people use uh, sphagnum moss. Some people use um, potting soil. And basically, you just want to create a good base of humidity for the bottom, or something that's going to hold that humidity. You do a little water dish. I just like to put a nice piece of cork bark in here because a lot of times they'll they'll make a web around that, and then some plants to make it look nice. And you can see there's a little pink toe tarantula right <clears> in here. 
Yeah, yeah I saw it. Yeah. Really, really. I was going to stick my camera in there, but. That's okay. Let's see if I can get it to move around a little bit. All right, you take me. So, really cool species. Yeah. Um, they are really interesting to watch. When they get settled into their enclosures, they web a lot. This one's new to this enclosure, so it still hasn't webbed in here yet. But they make really nice hammock webs inside of the enclosure once they get all settled. You're a nerd. Up. I am. I'm a big nerd. <laughs> when it comes to spiders, when it comes to spiders, I love. love oh, love look them. at you showing off. Nobody cares about your ink, dude. I love spiders. Look at you. Oh. So, what do we got here? So this is a golden child cow reticulated python. Okay. And so when I'm introducing myself to this animal, I yep. want to know, let it know that I'm not food or I'm not a predator. So, so what do you I'm do? I'm just going to go in and I'm going to gently rub it. Right. And so now you can see it's kind of aware of my presence. Uh huh. I'm just going to go in, gently pick it up. Using finesse, huh? Look at you. Finesse. Right. Wow. And what's this called again? Say it slower. Golden child cow reticulated python. Wow. That's pretty sweet. And so they will actually begin pretty white and almost yellow. Yeah. And they'll gain these black and white and brown patternings along their dorsal. And they'll kind of stay pretty white on their bellies. But they are Whoa. gorgeous, gorgeous animals. Oh, they're all white on the belly. Look how clean you keep the enclosures, man. Dude, you do a good job. We keep them pretty clean, pretty happy. I might be pretty, but I'm pretty angry. Look at that. Super pissed. Yep. I was cleaning her cage. <laughs> oh. My male. I'll stop camera. I was going. This is real fangs. You can even see where her real fangs are. It looks a little <laughs> repeated. No, don't get my hand. There you go. Look how pretty you are. But you can see right in that change in her mouth, that's right where her real fangs are. And then she's showing the red in between her scales. That's she's completely upset and defensive and so she's going to do everything she can to make herself look pretty scary. These are amazing animals. Get them look straight forward. These guys are actually birds and rodents. And for us they're eating rodents. This is a pretty good time for them right now so Wow. All right. Back in the cage. There's no good way to do this extraction with her. She's ultra defensive. Uh, the man, okay. I can play with green and black. Just makes my camera lose its mind. So I've never been bitten. Anything like this, and you, you don't. I don't really even know. You never know how you to react to it. My male is really good. I've already made friends with him. The female, I've never made any efforts. Just having a nice, healthy female, it's a big deal. So we're, we're, we're breeding right now. So get more eggs. The baby's excited. All right, so this species right here is called a Nandu chromatis, or a giant white knee bird eater. Um, and this species right here, you can see is a little bit defensive right now. Um, basically, 
uh, we took this animal out of its enclosure and kind of set it up in here and it's just feeling a little bit threatened when we go in here. And you see what they do is they do something, this is called the threat posture, where they lift up the front legs like that and kind of show off. You can see underneath the fangs right in there, Ooh. right there. That's Medicine. where the uh, venom comes from is for, or is delivered into whatever they're biting. So this species is uh, one that's from South America and most of these species from South America don't have a particularly potent venom. So instead of biting, like this is unusual for a South American species to do something like this typically, um, besides some of the arboreals maybe. But what these South American species generally do when they feel upset is they will actually kick the hairs off of their abdomen. They've got these special long hairs on the back of their abdomen that are called urticating hairs. And when they kick those hairs off the abdomen, it kind of floats up into the air. And when it gets in your skin, it causes extreme amount of irritation. Um, and it makes it very itchy, it makes a raised welt, and it can last for several hours. And it is very, very unpleasant. Uh, so who would own this? Like, why do we own this? Why, why is this even a thing that's here? I really like this species because I love the patterning on the legs, the long red hairs on the abdomen, and they love to eat. They're a species that loves to eat, so feeding them, watching them grab some prey is really, really cool. But you're not hugging and kissing this animal? No, I don't hug or kiss any of my spiders. Okay, that's good. Uh, it's, it's weird because like a lot of people kind of are like, oh man, why would you keep a spider? You can't cuddle it. And it's like, well, why do people keep fish? You know, you can't cuddle your fish tank, uh, but people still really enjoy keeping fish. You know, you get to watch the animal, uh, see how they interact, watch them eat, watch them grow. So I really enjoy that aspect of keeping spiders. You look like you'd like spiders too. I, I do. That's pretty fair. Yeah, that's fair. That's a fair assumption. Yeah. Do, do more, do more like Brian Barczyk. Do, do, do more like him. Be happier. Do, okay, use your flare your arms. You talk with your hands. Okay. Hey everyone, I'm super excited to be here today. And guess what? Today we're gonna look at this albino burping python, and I can't wait to show you what's going on. I am psyched. Today is gonna be a great day. This is gonna be a good day. Oh my great god. Great day. Good day. I'm full of shit. Kill it.